Hi, it's Musa, the CEO of NQB Recruitment Solutions based in Manchester. Whilst I am a huge supporter of remote working and ensuring wherever possible employees should be given the opportunity to work from home, there are some issues that are beginning to surface. There are numerous advantages of working uh, remotely, including saving time commuting and being able to work flexibly around your personal life. However, uh, this uh, working remotely does affect your physical and mental well-being. Uh, from our research, we have found that there are some negative psychological effects of working from home. I aim to discuss a number of the issues that are faced, including isolation and burnout. Isolation. Human beings are social beings. Daily interactions reinforce employee well-being and belonging in their workplace. Research shows that isolation and loneliness can be twice as harmful for, to mental and physical health. For this, living alone, loneliness can lead to feelings of isolation having a, and have a severe impact on their mental health. Therefore, maintaining relationships with colleagues and managers is critical to work performance, as well as emotional and mental wellness. Burnout. Research pointed out that 82% of remote employees are on the verge of feeling burnout. About 52% of them reported working longer hours than those working in an office, and 40% of them think that they need to contribute more than in-office employees. Employees who are new to the remote working feel compelled to work longer hours and prove that they are equally productive at home. During the pandemic, lines between work and home blur, even for those that have been working from home pre-COVID-19. Adverse psychological effects of remote working uh, are isolation and loneliness, stress, anxiety and depression along with pressure. This is well worth keeping an eye on. Thank you for watching.